Help me ask Pablo why he has refused to bring back his wife. Don't tell me you invited this jobless kinsman of yours here to interrogate me. Please don't scorn my person. Pablo takes exception to such a great just behavior. You must have heard that I've been given an appointment by His Majesty. Is that now? Retired headmaster, you calling me jobless man? If you are then fully employed, you wouldn't have been here dabbling into what is entirely a family affair. Hey! I am 100% convinced in my spirit that you are embattled on a dangerous mission. What have I done to deserve this uncomplimentary remarks? You have done a whole lot to deserve it. You are an evil man. And people like you are not fit to live in a decent society. You have a special place in here that should be your wonderful place of domicile. You have to bring seven eggs of a python to make the charm effective. Where do you expect me to get that from? Pablo is a super being and it will take greater things to bring him down. We have to do everything humanly possible to stop him. Why must you ride bicycle on my head simply because you have grown taller than I am? In fact, you have to leave my house. Have you ever built a house? This house belongs to your late father, who happens to be my grandfather. But of us are tenants here. You see, it is criminal to lay claims to what does not belong to you. You know you can go in for it. But the power vested in me, I hereby pronounce you officers of the law. So, Amanda, you have been a prostitute for 15 years. Now tell me, do you consider retirement at all? Have I slept with you before? Abnonyar, I rather become a celibate than to sleep with you. No, you stink and is very, very obnoxious. <laughs> 